वेलकम बैक टू आर शो श्री दर्शक मंडली आमंदे जो थोड़े थी सेकंड सेगमेंट के आलोचना हम रचले जावो जरा आमंदे साथे ये मात्र जोग दिलन तादर जुनो बोलते सी जे आमंदे देर आज के गेस्ट होचे एसेंबली मेंबर जॉन बिग्स हु वाज आल्सो द मेयर कैंडिडेट इन लास्ट इलेक्शन एबों एक्स काउंसलर मोतीनुद्दीन � आमी यही सेगमेंटर मूल बोस्तु तो जार अगे आपने देखा अबर रिमाइंडर करे दीची जहाँ आमदे क्विज़ होच्छे आस्कर क्विज़ होच्छे हु स्कोर्ड द फर्स्ट गोल फॉर इंग्लैंड इन द करंट वर्ल्ड कप इट वाज इट डैनियल स्टरेज वेन रूनी राहिम स्टार्लिंग आमदे एक टुपारे स्क्रीनर स्कोल खबे इटा न ईमेल एड्रेस ईमेल है आपना ईमेल करें आपने दो उत्तर टा दिए दिवे नाम दें प्रोब्लम्टी और उस टाइम इटा ड्रॉ करा होगे आम दिया जे जेटा आप तो एक बोलते सलम जे अकुन का सेगमेंट होच्छे इज लेबर लूजिंग ग्राउंड इन टाइम लेट्स आई स्टार्ट विथ विथ जॉन जॉन इज नो दैट्स फॉर द व्यूज वी आस्क यू मोर स Tower Hamlets um, is is the Labour losing its its ground in Tower Hamlets because we always knew Labour in Tower Hamlets has always been Labour. You know, Tower Hamlets always been Tower. Okay. What's happening between in 2006 we had George Galloway in as an MP. Now in 2010 we've got Lutford as an independent, and in 2014 we've got Tower Hamlets first. So is there a rapid change okay. in, in I politics? Think, I think it's it's quite a complicated question but the answer I suppose is really quite simple in the end that one of the good things about Tower Hamlets is there are places in the country where where you know they say you can put up a donkey and it will get elected for Labour and in Tower Hamlets I think that was a myth in Tower yeah, Hamlets no and, in, no. No, no and Tower Hamlets has maybe in the past Tower Hamlets was like that but I think it's okay. very healthy that you have to work hard for your votes in Tower Hamlets and people you can't take people for granted and you don't have to just go back to George Galloway 1945 people in Stepney voted for a communist MP instead of a Labour MP because they they, they felt that Labour wasn't left-wing enough or whatever it was in those days. That wasn't a Bengali thing. That was actually a Jewish vote that elected a, uh, a communist MP in 1945. Mm. So Tower politics have always been interesting. Uh, and that's one of the reasons I like the politics here. If you look at the... It's constant challenging. Yeah, if you look at the... Yes, yeah. And, I, and I, I, you know, it'd be nice to, to be able to um, take it easy your whole life and just take people for granted, would it? Well, I wouldn't want to do that, you see. I, I think work hard for people. And hopefully they will reward you. And I and I and I, I do have a lot of support out there. Uh, people respected the campaign we fought. Um, I think to answer your question, if you look at the election results on May the 22nd this year, in the European election, Labour had a clear majority in Tower Hamlets. In the mayor and council election, we did not. And so that's telling you something. It's telling you, I think, that the majority of people in Tower Hamlets are still Labour, but on the mayor and council election parts of the community, particularly the Bengali community, uh, had lost confidence in Labour and felt that there was a better offer from the current Mayor, Mayor Rahman. And so we need to listen to and learn from that. Of course we do. But it's just as good being a Labour um, this time around, the way it, it went. If you say that you're, you've got all these la Labour mm. um, residents in Tower Hamlets and voters, then it's just as good as them, you know, Sitting in the in the, in uh, at home and well and looking at the wall. I think the Labour Party needs to. If they are really okay. Labour, they needed to come out yeah. and vote. No, the Labour Party needs to show that we respect and support and understand the cultural and other views within our different communities in Tower Hamlets. And clearly, with Muslims in Tower Hamlets and particularly Bengali Muslims in Tower Hamlets, uh, Look for Rahman presented a more attractive argument that he he sort of said Labour's against you. Uh, only I will look after you, and people accepted that. And it was, in my view, a false argument, but clearly we failed to win that argument. And so we need to go out there, we need to have attractive candidates, we need to win people's confidence again, we need to show people that we have confidence in the Bengali community, uh, which I certainly do. Uh, I have many, many friends in the community, and I'm very proud to have represented the community for many years, and I hope I will do for many more as well. Thank you, John. Let's, let's ask a, a Bengali person about this. What is your view? 20, 2006, George Galloway. 2010 Lutfur, 2014 Lutfur. Are you losing ground? Well, I think all these the, the three dates, Jagulu, um, Amabai, you've said, there's, there's have significant um, incidents that's happened. And, and the incidents, uh, uh, you could have issue-based politics, 
uh, um, but I think what we need to do, um, and f no, I don't think we, we're losing grounds, because if you look at the total number of um, councillors that are elected, you know, we had, before we started the election, we had 26 councillors. Mm. We've got 20, and there's a possibility another three. If that happens, that's 23. So we have lost three councillors. So at the end of the day, um, and what we, we, we say is that John got over 80,000, is it 100,000, whatever vote that you got uh, in the GLA. He represents Tower Hamlets, he represents uh, Barking, Newham and stuff. It's a whole area that he represents and he serves. He is the city, London city money representative, Tower Hamlets, really, I'm right, John Biggs. He, he, he's running uh, London with Boris Johnson. That's what he's doing. He will be doing that uh, for, for his, uh, the, you know, the term he's there. But he will come back to the residents uh, across the East London for support. I mean, my personal view is that um, our community, um, uh, th there has been some issues, as I say, three different stages. Uh, but I, my, my view would be that the, the arguments or maybe the, the case that we put to the people, uh, on, on one hand, he said these are the achievements that he claimed, uh, and, and our arguments has not been able to tarnish those achievements well enough. What it tarnish means that those achievements that he made it his, his own through the media, mm -hmm. well, that's actually, it's not his, it's, a, it's Roshnara's, James, and, and some of that might be outside of Boris Johnson, and there's a lot of other things. Mm -hmm. So even like sometimes in the media, we used to find that the hospital has been built in uh, Royal London, it was portrayed as, as being the mayor, but the mayor had nothing mm -hmm. to do with it. So mm -hmm. what I'm saying is it, it's that sort of image that's been created, um, to be honest with you, um, and we, we, we didn't need to go back and just look at... That's come, you know, that comes back to earlier what we were talking about, the mm -hmm. educating the voter, that who you're, who you're voting. It's, it's not in any disrespect, but it's the awareness of it, that okay. who you're voting and why you're voting, yeah, you know. See, let's, let's, let's put it more There's one way of doing it, like in a manifesto on a leaflet, yeah. and then the other way is doing, you know, this... Okay. Um, this no, I, no, I agree. Well, I mean, uh, the mayor did make a whole bunch of false claims such as that where, whether he built houses which were built by other people or whether free school meals was his policy when it was a Labour policy and so on. But the fact, is, but the fact, but the fact is that people tended to believe that yeah. and it's the mixture of presenting himself as a victim, presenting Labour Party as some sort of bunch of villains. Maybe we need to look at the quality of our candidates. There's a whole bunch of things we need to yeah. look at. Of course we do. There's another part of this which is, which is less pleasant for me, which is that the campaign he fought was almost exclusively focused on the Bengali community. Yeah. And that's, you know, that's fine. That's what he chose to do. Imagine if the Labour Party had a campaign which is exclusively focused on the white community. Oh, yeah. We would have been in the High Court the next day. Yeah. We would have been accused of racially... Po and, right. and, and to be blunt about it, there is no way on this earth that I would ever want to fight a campaign which was seeking the support of just one community. Yeah. So if you like, there's a, there's, a lack of, there's a lack of balance there. So he can get away with that, and people think that's fine. But I don't think that's fine. Mm. I think when we knock on doors in Bow or Bethnal Green and we speak mm. to non-Bengali households, they say, we get a very clear message from this mayor that he's not standing up for us. And so I think he has created, he's won the election, and you know, I respect that. And mm. you know, I'm, I'm, hopefully I'm a good loser. I've lost the election. But he stored up a problem by being so polarized. Yeah. And a very clear signal is given to other people that he's not interested in them. So you go to the Isle of Dogs, uh, which is a, a not the strongest Bengali area of the borough, and people there feel that Lutfus is just going to fill the, borough, the, the Isle of Dogs up with housing in order that, uh, because he's not interested in them, you know? Mm -hmm. and, and, and that is not a healthy way to run a borough. If of you're going to run a yeah. borough, you've got to serve yeah. everybody. T let me ask you a different question. I mean, Tahamless first, mm -hmm. uh, the Lutfus group. Uh, well, in... in, in, in Tahamless in, last week, by the way. But, in, Carry on. but, but, the, but the thing is that, in, in one of the uh, programs in the uh, Channel S, he was asked, are you a party? And he said he's not, he's still an independent. But then out in the street, he's saying he's timeless first. So mm -hmm. which one is he? I mean, last time I had Shahid Ali and I asked him, um, are you, a, uh, you know, why did you uh, select three uh, male Bengalis in Blackwell, Kiwi Town? You had the opportunity of having a woman and, uh, um, so, and, and, uh, and uh, a white and a Bengali. But he said he has a structure. Then when I asked him, who's your chairman? He didn't able to answer me. So what, half of the people are saying they're, sti they're a party. Half of them are saying they're independent. So they're in disarray anyway. I'm not asking you to answer that, but that's just a comment. But what they're saying, timeless first, is that in 2018, they're going to wipe off labor. Yeah? And 
so what can what can Labour do to regain the trust of, of this borough again? I mean, clearly, um, w we have to work with our residents. Um, but most important thing, uh, Ahmed Bay, is, is to ensure that what is at stake uh, for our residents. You know, when I go, um, I, you know, before the election, I had residents come to me talking about uh, this, this, the, the suffering they're going through, particularly with some of the cap, and you know, the benefit caps. You know, a lot of changes in the systems that are impacting on them. But and, he's and saying he's, he's allocated money so that the cap doesn't, well, you no, know. No, I mean, I'll tell, you, I'll tell you about that. And that's people who are having to move from this bar to outside London will, will tell you uh, what's happening. Yeah, the paper has I, I published know. about 500 people had to move I out. I know. There's a lot of people, time is as I thought, because yeah. of those. What is at stake is three things. I'll give you what th these three things. One yeah. is that this government has brought in a lot of changes that are impacting Amadeh community best impact for it. Mm. And, and if we are and, and serious about this, and, and for me, it's not about time, it's about the bigger picture for our residents. You know, mm. their livelihood, they're making sure they've got food on the, on the plate, table, they've got kids who are going to school with decent clothing and stuff. This is what is at stake. And for us, we have to think big, you know, beyond, beyond Tower Hamlet and say, well, we need to now bring the change we need to make sure that those people that live in, the, in, in our borough, young people that are, get the opportunity in jobs, because Tower Hamlet's Jebabe media, I mean, you no, know, talking about the media, you, you know, focuses all the time, if it's still now, we need to get away from the, you know, that, that sort of limelight yeah. and, and start f making sure our young generation that are getting the education, are getting the jobs, the right jobs at the right level. Uh, and I feel... Well, I, I, I totally agree I with what you're saying, but at the, at the same time, uh, the current mayor, Lutfu Amman, is saying that he's helping uh, the poor people. He's saying he's giving EMA, he's giving money to subsidize the, the rent. He's, he's doing all these things that you, you're worried about. Well, I think, look, I mean, this, this, there's a difference between uh, subsidizing. Look if, you sell, look, if you sell a building, I mean, a lot of buildings are being sold. You get millions by selling a building. And you could then re re look at how you dish that out. It's easy thing to do. You could do it. Any resident can do that. That's the easiest thing to do. Yeah. What you need to do is to be able to change and influence policy. I'll give you one example. Site to surgery, bondo, possibility in Tower Hamlet. Impact it again to people. Surgery is the bondoy. Then, then what happens is that those people who are listed on those surgeries, thousands, thousands of people, will go to my surgery, your surgery, mm -hmm. and join them. Mm -hmm. Which means that the appointment time you get, now we'll have to wait more seriously. Mm -hmm. It'll have a huge detrimental impact on your health, your children's health, and you need you need somebody. But we we really don't know if it's going to be but, but, well, well, if it's going to be uh, shut. No, but I'm, I'm just, giving, study but I'm just giving you uh, these examples as a way yeah. that you need a mayor who would able to influence those policy decisions, government changes, some of the policy decisions that would advantageously disadvantage people in But Tarahamra. he's saying he's, he's brought in the uh, but, but dental, well, okay. den dental oh. college and he's I saying that he's going to bring in, he's going to bring in, he's going to bring in, this is, this is he's going to bring in uh, um, it's a bit new like college me. with oh. Queen Mary into, into you know, Ireland. I, I could put out a leaflet saying I invented <laughs> the wheel, but I didn't invent <laughs> yes. the wheel, it was or that I discovered <laughs> fire, but it's yeah. not true. Yeah. I mean, if I keep saying something that's not true, does that become true? Yeah. He did not build the dental hospital. The NHS, funded as it was by the Labour government, always planned to build the dental hospital, which is where the old A and E was, because the new hospital has been built on the new site there. There's nothing whatsoever to do with the mayor of Tower Hamlets. Um, but there's a there's a more important point here, which is that uh, whoever the mayor is, whether it was me or whether it was him, and they were the two choices, they're going to have to manage a massive cut in the budget, 80 million pounds over the next couple of years. And, you know, there's no way he can shilly shally his way out of that. There's something to. called the reserve fund. Well, the reserve fund is about 20 million. And you can only spend it once, you know. So that, that can cushion some of the cuts, but it can't save you from them. Mm -hmm. So one thing I heard quite often during the campaign was uh, that there was a message going to council employees that if you voted for Mayor Lutfer, you would save your job. And if you voted for Mayor Biggs, you would lose your job. Now, that's, that's, that's again, that's garbage. A lot of people will have to lose their jobs because of these cuts in the budgets. Sure. But the fact John, is, the fact is Every time you open your mouth, there's a call. Okay. So well, let, me, uh, let me take that call. The, the <laughs> fact, well, the fact is, though, that he is the top dog, and yeah. he needs to be held to account. And so our job now, in opposition, is to hold him to account and make sure people understand what he's doing, why he's doing it, whether it's reasonable. And if we do that effectively, then next time people will reward us. Sure. Thank you, uh, John. I'll come back to you in a minute. Assalamu alaikum, caller. 
আমাদের <laughs> 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 side and the economic side okay, on a different day. Yep. Um, we, we sh I would like to stay on, on the topic. Um, you talked about, we talked about George Galloway and Luther, but as a, as a general, if you, if you look at the single agenda is winning everywhere. Uh, whoever's coming with a single agenda, in 2006, George Galloway came with a single agenda. I will give you the Bengali MP gateway. Yeah, then Lutfi came on 2010 saying uh, they have done injustice to me. Nothing to do with my social or my housing or anything. They've done unjust. Labour has done injustice to me. In 2014, Panorama has done injustice to me, and people are voting. Likewise, if you look at the national picture, UKIP uh, is saying we want to get out of Europe. We want to get, but uh, how that's going to affect me? Uh. How is that going to affect my economy? Uh, that's nothing to do, uh, that, that's not being debated. So Same do you thing. think that a single agenda in politics is always winning on a, well, on a particular day? Well, of course, one of the wonderful things that Lutfi Rahman has done is to make himself the single agenda. And I think as long as he can present himself as a single agenda, and as the victim of all these terrible things that have happened, then he will continue to get a lot of support. And what the Labour Party needs to do is to show people that it's not about Lutfi, it's not about John Biggs, it's not about Martin Usman. Uh, it's about the people of our borough and improving their quality of life. And if we can do that, if we can show we can do that, if we can get people's confidence we can do that, then it doesn't matter whether I'm Bengali, Somali, English or anything else. And it doesn't really matter about Lutfi Rahman. It matters about people having confidence that the future of this borough is better in the hands of the person who can win their support. Mm. So, you know, it's, 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 it's about politics. And, yeah, the Labour Party has been clumsy. We allowed ourselves to be painted into a corner. We need to pick ourselves up and learn from that. We need to do it with real humility. We need to listen to the community. We need to recognize that we got it wrong. And, uh, but we got quite a lot of things right, though. Let's be clear about that. We fought a campaign to serve all the community. And the current mayor fought a campaign which is very polarized, just as George Galloway's was. That shows and respects the, uh, the, the strength of the, of the vote of the Bengali community. And I do. I, I respect that as well. But it also shows a weakness, which is it's a very single issue. It's about his personality, or it's about uh, the Iraq war, which is a very big issue yeah. for, for the Muslim community. Mm -hmm. And the Labour Party got that wrong. As far as people in town is concerned, we got that wrong. I can hear another call coming in because I'm no. speaking. Yeah, but no, carry on. It's fine. It's fine. It's yeah. fine. I'll, I'll, we're we're going to go to break in a, in a short bit. But mm -hmm. um, I just want to ask Motin Bay that, you know, um, how can Labour or any mainstream polit politicians and parties come out of this, uh, well, they're not himself into this single agenda uh, politics, but how can they override the single agenda politics, be it UK, be it George Galloway, be it, you know? I think, uh, I'm other, I think what we need to do is, Manu said, you know, people are uh, impacted by, as I said, I started by saying a lot of the changes. Yeah. These will, uh, and these pain, and people are enduring, because I know people are telling me, phoning me, talking to me, uh, and then realize that those cannot be solved locally. Local people, um, mayor or councillors cannot solve those. They, these are, you know, um, policy decisions that happen at central government impacts on them. So in order to get away from that, people have to now think about the kind of national government. So in order to make sure national government, if they want to influence that, does it matter having Ramas first or respect party or other parties? 
Can they change our fate? Can they change my, the pain I'm enduring? The reality is no. And I think what we need to do is get that message to the residents and to say that what we need is a government that understands what you are going through, the pain you are enduring, and we could change that. And we need to be able to, so like if you've got John in the city hall, be able to influence policies that shapes the government's agenda for uh, whoever the government is. And, and that's what people need to do. You need to do it with your, your, the different parties and, and so on. The mainstream parties are the ones that could shape uh, the, 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 the country we have, the borough we have, and what happens here. And, and I think what we need, we have two excellent MPs who do fantastic work. And what we need to do is, if we, and I said the Labour, and Labour, a Labour vote, if it's split, then likely chance that Tories will win and the Tories will continue with the government and people will get the same what they're getting now. Uh, so people have a choice uh, in 2018. So in, in 30 seconds, mm. I've got a comparison question okay. between Thomas and, and Neum that uh, similar uh, thing the Conservatives tried in Neum uh, with a single agenda with the, with the markers and things like that, and it didn't work. In, uh -huh. in Neum, um, does so yeah. it doesn't seem that single agenda works well everywhere, but it is working well on in Hamlets. What's your thoughts on? Well, it I'm not too sure it's working that well. It was a close result, but yes, it was a very polarised election, mm -hmm. and I think they tried it in Newham, uh, and it didn't work at all. They didn't win a single seat. So, I think Newham's a very different borough from Hamlets, though, and it's it's a borough where there are many different faiths, many different cultural groups. Hamlets is uh, is, is, is far less diverse than Newham in that respect. And so, you know, the Bengali politics shouldn't be underestimated. It's not the only thing in town, it's, but it's a very powerful thing. And one needs to respect and work with the community in town. Hamlets. Thank you, John. Shri Dasha Kundali, I'm going to break a break. I'm going to break a break. I'm going to break a break.